welcome back to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. I have a story for us today. Dia de los Muertos. A lot of people confuse the Day of the Dead with Halloween. However, Halloween is celebrated on October 31st. The Day of the Dead is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. The celebration consists of making altars for people who have passed away and celebrating their lives, going to the cemetery and cleaning their grave sites and remembering all the love and happiness that those people brought them. Dia de los Muertos. Roseanne Greenfield Thong. Pictures by Charles Ballesteros. It's a little windy. I hope you can hear it okay. It's Dia de los Muertos. The sun's coming round as niños prepare each pre in each pueblo and town. For today we will honor our dearly departed with celebraciones. It's time to get started. home we've adorned our altares with care. They've, they're heaped with recuerdos and good things to share. Sweet calaveras so sugary white they give truth toothy smiles but never a fright. Oops. A black and white photo of Grandpa Padilla, who's riding on horseback just like Pancho Villa. And toys for remembering small angelitos. A train and a dollhouse are both favoritos. Then off to the graveyard, we head with ofrendas and colorful blankets to make meriendas. We carry incienso and velas to burn that will guide spirits back for their yearly return. And burst of calendulas, fragrant and bright, the color of sunsets and gold candlelight. A path of petalos will help lead our guests to pillows and blankets for taking a rest. Above we hang streamers of papel picado that wave in the breeze like a rainbow pintado. We giggle at paper cut banners we like, esqueletos riding a horse cart or bike. We share in the foods that our guests love to eat, fresh fruit and tamales, a holiday treat, and clay pots of grandmother's fresh chicken stew with mugs of atole, a chocolatey brew. <laughs> but everyone's favorite is sugary bread called pan de muerto with bones of the dead. That offers our travelers a much needed snack from the weary vieje that brought them all back. Then after our lunch comes the part we love most, putting on makeup to dress like a ghost. In veils and costumes we join the parade. Although we wear whistles, no one is afraid.
Gilberto has scars and a special corona. Annabelle looks like the real La Llorona. Joe Quinn's snow white barba sweeps down to the floor, while Luce looks like someone we've all seen before. I like this costume. And just as the marigold clouds end the day, dancers and musicas come out to play. They wear special shells that go clickety clack and wake up Espiritus calling them back. As candle flames glisten, our smiles are bright. Our ancestrals know we are with them tonight. They return to their world without sadness or fear, knowing they'll stay in our hearts till next year. I hope you enjoyed the story. I did. And thank you for visiting the little farm. We'll see you next time. Bye!